So all the different strands of mindfulness and Buddhism itself, um, ultimately they're all saying the same thing, which is, wake up! <laughs> yeah, wake up to this, wake up to reality, wake up, put it in whatever words you want. Uh, step out of the automatic pilot would be more the mindfulness way of, of expressing it. So MBSR, stress reduction, is particularly apt for sitting with people who stress is their major sort of source of discomfort or, or, or um, suffering. MBCT is, was particularly um, developed for people with depression. But as I said, everyone has that tendency to get themselves depressed at times in their life. So again, it's available for everyone. Breathworks is more aimed at people with chronic pain. Um, but they also do a version for stress. So for me, it's just sort of learning the same thing, teaching the same thing from different angles over and over again. And what happens is that it's not just an intellectual understanding. Um, it's sort of by repeating, by understanding it from diff the same thing from different angles, we sort of... Uh, it sort of clunks down in us, it sort of becomes more embodied in us. Buddhism and uh, secular mindfulness are both very much part of my life. Um, I suppose I've considered myself quite fortunate that uh, I've had the Buddhist training and I've had the, the in-depth sort of understanding from a Buddhist perspective. I feel very fortunate also to have the sort of the more broader language which I think is more acceptable to a, a, a wider range of people. So I teach MBSR for instance to people who would never go into a Buddhist centre and I see that as very beneficial. At the same time I think it's useful for a, a, a teacher, a mindfulness teacher, even though they're never going to teach Buddhism to have a broader understanding for their own secular mindfulness teaching, I think it's useful for them also to occasionally sort of look at the Buddhist tradition to understand where some of the material is coming from and to have a sort of a broader perspective of that material. Mindfulness has both wings, if you like, of um, awareness and compassion. So compassion is built into mindfulness. We can teach it, we can choose to teach it in, a, in an implicit way. So we're teaching compassion right from the word go on an MBSR course, on an MBCT course, but we might be choosing not to explicitly teach it. The, I think it's useful to be aware of some of the dangers, the potential dangers of teaching compassion explicitly, which are particularly when someone's in a very difficult place, like a, a, a quite a difficult depression, they might just see compassion as just another thing that they can't do. So as teachers being aware of these potential dangers, we can find the language and find the skills to um, maybe start teaching people like that compassion more explicitly or not. Understanding these basic sort of how our mind works can alleviate a lot of sort of quite common everyday suffering. I'm talking about anxiety, I'm talking about depression, I'm talking about um, a nervous system which is, has, has got off tilt uh, and is creating all sorts of um, health issues that by sort of hitting the reset button, they can alleviate themselves a lot of those health issues. Sometimes our very attempt to be happy can be the very thing that stops us being happy. And this is the paradox of mindfulness, of acceptance precedes change. So say you are not happy, you wake up and you're definitely not happy. Yeah. Um, if someone says, be happy, maybe that's not going to be helpful at that moment. 
Uh, I think that the qualities that we can all benefit from from uh, practicing are, are things like being more honest, being more open, um, taking the mask off, um, saying what's going on for us, um, showing our love to our loved ones, not just how we want them to change. Um, so it's this whole exploration of our own experience our own emotions, our own thoughts, find ways of practicing, find your own ways, go on courses, uh, do your own research, find out what works for you and then um, practice it. So no dogma but, it, but, but at the same time don't fall into dis displacency and lethargy sort of um, take the reins of your life and, and live. <laughs>